Alright everyone, chapter 15 of the Jojo Lands is here, or well, it was here, and as predicted, it starts right where the last chapter ended, with Usagi in extreme pain, seemingly out of nowhere. Thankfully for the gang, Usagi was able to think of a temporary remedy for the issue, and it leads us to an important advancement when it comes to the Jojo Lands gang. That being said, Usagi might actually be the smartest one here. I remember the days right before this chapter came out, people were ranking the Jojo Lance gang based on how smart they were and it was genuinely considered that Usagi wasn't really up there at least from what I saw. Personally, I thought Charming Man was going to end up being the smartest one, but this is now the second time that Usagi has saved the day while other members just lounge around acting dumb. Now, none of these guys are smart. That's a pretty clear image that Araki is trying to put in place, and I think it really shows how dumb these guys are when it's the drug addict who's been the only one to really solve these issues that they've been facing. So, Charming Man's stand name has finally been revealed to us after six chapters of seeing the character. Character. And the stand name is Big Mouth Strikes Again. It's certainly a very interesting name. I don't see what the stand has to do with Big Mouth or a big mouth, but maybe Charming Man will have a big mouth in the future. No, but seriously, the stand name comes from the single by the Smiths. I'm not very musically inclined. All I really do is listen to Beyblade music. So I don't have much to comment on that, but okay, the Smith fans get a massive W. It seems like the whole character is just a reference to the Smiths because there's another song made by them called The Charming Man. So just for the fact that Charming Man itself is a reference is leaving me to believe that this guy's name is Charming Man and not some fake name. It's a really interesting choice, but Jojo has had many strange names in the past, so I guess it's fine. But that's not the only stand related news that we got in this chapter. I mean, with only 7.8% of my audience subscribed to my channel, I think a stand user must have done something to lower it. But seriously, we have a new stand attacking Usagi, and whoever owns this stand, like we honestly have no idea who he even is. But the ability itself is pretty funny. It looks like the stand just gives diseases to its target. Whether it's this or just creating issues in a person's body, the stand is scary, as we can see a lot of our main characters already dealing with near-death experiences without even knowing knowing who owns the stand in the first place. At first, we saw the stand giving people pulmonary edema, and then later on, we saw it give Charming Man some form of cancer just by him being around the stand itself for a while. It's honestly really frightening, but stuff like this really gives Jojo a reason for its bizarre title. I mean, it was hilarious telling people who don't watch Jojo that in the new chapter, the villain has a power that gives their opponents cancer. So it is pretty funny to people consuming the media. Here's something else that could be considered a bit funny. Maybe a bit negative to some people though. So after Usagi and Charming Man got hit with their diseases, Dragona started foaming out of the mouth out of nowhere. It was really strange since Dragona didn't necessarily come into contact with anything there. Now, to some people, it could seem random, but there's honestly a really good explanation to this. So when Usagi first became sick, he was with Charming Man and Dragona. And guess what? These are the first three people who have gotten sick. Maybe Charming Man was supposed to get pulmonary edema as well, but then because he decided to use his stand to get closer to the enemy stand, the disease grew to something bigger, like cancer. Contagious diseases is quite the thing to be wary of, so unless Jodeo and Paco stop it quickly, since they are the last two people to come into close range of Usagi, then we could see all five members eventually dealing with something disease related. So you better hope Jodeo and Paco can do something quickly. Alright, so yeah, the chapter didn't really have anything else going on except these things. That tends to happen once we get into the battle focused chapters. The battle is all that really gets focused on here. I guess I could do more in depth on the diseases themselves, but like, you all read the chapter, you know what happens. But speaking of knowing stuff that happens, there is this video I made discussing something specific that occurred a few chapters ago. Something with Jodeo's eyes. Watch this video to find out what I mean. <laughs> 